battle over federal unemployment benefits continues. Maryland's highest court siding with claimants, but it's not over yet. Oh no, right now there's a hold on ending additional benefit programs. That's set to last eight days, but in the past hour, Governor Hogan's legal team asked the state appeals court to reconsider their decision to keep that hold in place. WMAR 2 News' Abby Isaacs joins us from Baltimore with the latest. Within the next few days, the court will set a date for a full hearing. Attorneys for the claimants want the benefits extended through September. The state wants them to end next week. I was extremely relieved. It's a huge struggle. Heather Wilson calls the federal unemployment benefits a lifeboat for her and her three children. So she and many others are hopeful that the recent court decision to extend benefits for another week will turn into a few months. People really need this money it just to catch up. Over the weekend, a Baltimore Circuit Court judge sided with claimants, extending benefits until July 13th, 10 days longer than Governor Larry Hogan's original notice. The judge said the plaintiffs proved they would suffer immediate, substantial, and irreparable harm. The state filed an appeal. It was denied. They appealed that to the Court of Appeals. And Monday, the highest court sided with claimants, upholding the temporary restraining order. I mean, we knew that what we were doing was right, the right thing to do, but having the Court of Appeals uh, with us lets us know that we're not just right on the inside, but we're right with the law. Um, so we definitely have the upper hand here. Today, the governor's office said there are a record number of jobs available and the federal programs are making it harder to fill them, hurting small businesses, saying, quote, we are confident the courts will ultimately rule in favor of our fight to get more Marylanders back to work and continue a booming economic recovery, end quote. But Wilson, who has been actively searching for work, says the jobs that are plentiful will not sustain her and her kids. We got to be able to go to work, have pay for child care and be able to continue to pay our bill. And the jobs that are profitable are not as available as Governor Hogan tries to say that they are. Attorneys for the plaintiffs are asking for the benefits to be extended until September when the CARES Act funding expires. Right now, the state plans to end them July 14th unless the order is renewed or extended. So we're just asking for Larry Hogan to accept the over a billion dollars of federal money that's already been agreed to, to come into Marylanders' hands and pump into our economy. Tomorrow, the Unemployed Workers Union will be here at the Secretary of Labor's office in downtown Baltimore, picketing and delivering the nearly 3,000 grievances they've received. In Baltimore, Abby Isaacs, WMAR2 News. Thank you, Abby. The governor's move in the past hour to ask for a reconsideration of the appeal court's decision comes down to legalities. The legal team says the rulings over the weekend weren't filed properly, so today's appeals court decision should be reconsidered. A decision on the motion should be made at some point tomorrow, and it's been like legal ping pong back and forth. Yeah. We're going to try to keep you up to date.